Welcome back to Mind Keys. So in today's video, I wanted to talk with you a bit about binaural beats. Uh, so for those of you that didn't catch it, I put out a video about a week ago on how to get into the alpha brainwave state without binaural beats. So just on your own, shifting your physiology, using kind of breath techniques, things like that to start to shift your uh, central nervous system into the alpha brainwave state. And then uh, over the weekend, I put out a video uh, that was an hour-long audio of binaural beats that I made myself. And I'm going to start putting out more and more binaural beats. And so I thought I would just talk with you guys a bit about what's been going on with my own exploration of them, how I've been using them, what kind of value I'm getting out of them, how you might use them. And if you're kind of new to binaural beats, if you've never really played with them or tried them before, uh, kind of give you kind of a brief primer on what frequencies do what and kind of how best to leverage them. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So let me just give you guys a little context on myself and my own relationship to binaurals, just to kind of help you understand why I'm making this video and, uh, you know, kind of the, the story leading up to now. So I'm a coach and a hypnotherapist and a NLP practitioner. And what you might be able to infer from that, and what I'm going to tell you straight out is I'm also very much a psychonaut. I love all things psychedelic, uh, all things that tie into psychology, spirituality, consciousness exploration, the mind-body connection, uh, higher vibrational states, optimal states, high performance states, flow states, all that kind of stuff. My passion. I love it. I'm super fascinated by it. Love to explore it. And I'm always looking for ways to kind of uh, tools to explore these different states of being, but also looking for ways to take the tools and take the things I've learned and condense them down into the tightest, juiciest little packages that I can deliver to you to help people minimize their suffering or eliminate their suffering altogether. And uh, interestingly enough, I also have a background as a musician and as an audio producer, electronic music producer, and as an instrumentalist. So audio for me is a big deal. It's, it's huge in my world. I love music, I love sound, I love frequency, I love sound healing, all that kind of stuff. Um, huge history with it, right? So you would think binaural beats would be something that I've been doing for years. And interestingly enough, they're one of these tools that I've played with before and got a little bit of value out of in the past, but really hadn't deeply dove into until very recently. And uh, I don't even know why that is. I just kind of felt pulled to it. I just felt called. I just felt intuitively like it's time to play with binaurals again. And so I started playing with them to help me kind of clear my mind, relax, center. Uh, and they've been absolutely amazing. So I want to tell you a bit about what I've been discovering as I've been playing with them uh, because I've decided to start making them. I've decided that I like them so much that I want to start including them uh, as part of the tools that I'm going to offer along with hypnotherapy sessions, coaching sessions, um, sessions on, you know, coaching people on how to use microdosing to shift themselves, all this kinds of stuff. It's all very auditory, right? So why not include these kind of binaural beats to help the brain really align with what it is we want to train ourselves to do so I can help you and teach you how to reprogram your own mind more efficiently, more quickly, right? So I'm developing these tools to kind of go together. Anyways, uh, so I've been exploring uh, the different states and what they're doing for me. And so I wanted to kind of share for you, just in case you are new, um, what the different frequencies are, kind of basically what they do. And then I want to share a bit about how I'm using them. So if you're kind of familiar with binaurals, but maybe you only use them in one context, like say studying or say sleeping, you might not have thought of using them in some of the ways I'm going to describe here. So I'm going to share that with you. And then I'm also going to give you just kind of my kind of takeaway currently as I've been exploring them, because this is you know, as I push forward in my exploration of consciousness, I'm always playing with different tools, which means I'm going to be reporting on different things I'm learning, different things I'm seeing, different things that help me, different things that I'm discovering don't work very well for myself or drawbacks, limitations, that kind of thing. So I want to share all of that with you and kind of uh, just deliver where I'm at with that currently. So let's go ahead and talk about it a bit. So quick introduction to the concept. I'm not going to explain all the science behind it, but I want to just kind of deliver a little bit of information about what they are in case you're not familiar at all. So binaural beats essentially are brainwave 
entrainment tool uh, or tuning tool for kind of the different levels of consciousness or states of being that your brain is capable of. The basic idea is that you're playing a frequency in one ear and a different frequency in the other ear. And the brain has to cross talk with itself amongst the two sides of the hemispheres of the brain in order to make sense out of the two different signals. Uh, when it does this, you start to hear kind of a pulsing or a waving that is a third frequency, and that's what the binaural beat is. And the basic idea is that if you listen to that binaural beat for at least six minutes, it takes six minutes for your brain to start to entrain to it, your brain starts to get used to that frequency and it will start to operate and kind of move at that same frequency, if you will, or operate on that same frequency. So we're training the brain to operate at a certain frequency. Now, different frequencies have different impacts on our state of consciousness, all the way from deep, deep, deep sleep and dreaming and even dreamless sleep, like what you would get at the depths of, of, of uh, I think, non-REM sleep, all the way to hyper focus and hyper flow states where you're super tuned in and just able to go and go and go and go and go and you're kind of in this high optimal kind of state of high functioning right and everything in between calm chill relaxed lazy re easy creative flowing comfortable nervous anxious overwhelmed all these different states are represented by different uh, brainwave frequencies so that's what a binaural beat is. What you're doing is you're playing and listening and letting your brain tune in uh, to these frequencies. And like I said, it takes minimum six minutes, but what I've been finding is the sweet spot, it really starts at about 10 minutes and generally you wanna listen for about 20 minutes, more or less per session to really get the value out of the binaural beat. So for those of you that, again, aren't familiar, there are these different kind of sections of uh, frequency ranges where different kind of states exist. So popular ones for binaurals include alpha waves, which are great for, um, you could say relaxed awareness when you're kind of feeling chill, but very clear mentally, um, getting out of anxiety, good for uh, boosting serotonin, for um, feeling at ease and calm and centered good for kind of an, like a post-meditation kind of feeling or good for meditation, actually. Uh, alpha waves are good for, um, what else? Um, let me see, creativity, uh, alertness. But generally, it's like this kind of open, relaxed, attentive, attuned, but kind of chill state of being. If you go up from alpha waves, then you get into beta waves. Beta waves are great for um, mental activity, thinking, focus, uh, mental effort, but beta waves are interesting in that there is kind of a, a range of beta waves where anxiety lives. So generally speaking, if we're trying to get over anxiety, which is one of the things I do with my clients, uh, we want to be avoiding beta waves. And generally speaking, if you're de dealing with anxiety, pardon me, trying to talk too fast, if you're dealing with anxiety, what that probably means is that you have too many beta waves and you want to shift down in alpha more often. That alpha waves are probably going to help you stay alert, but also be more relaxed and more clear. Uh, above beta waves, once you get into the high, high beta, you get into this kind of high concentration zone. Then above that is gamma waves. And gamma waves are, Again, super focused, super potent concentration. Uh, they're also great for understanding the different dimensionality of experience at the same time. So the simultaneousness of two different ways of viewing something are kind of built into gamma waves. Gamma waves are also what high level meditators like, you know, lifetime Buddhist monks achieve. So when you're super focused, super mentally alert, but very detached and very, very clear, that would be a gamma wave state. Now, if we go below alpha, so if alpha is kind of a middle uh, awakeness that's alert but relaxed, then we go lower and slower, we drop down into theta waves. Now, theta waves and alpha waves and kind of that border right in between are perfect for self-hypnosis, which is one of the things I teach on this channel. Uh, they are a place where the unconscious mind becomes more accessible 
and uh, listens and is more malleable. So the conscious mind starts to slow down as we go out of gamma and into alpha. And then as we go in deeper into alpha and down into theta, uh, we enter this kind of relaxed, creative flow state where we're in touch with the unconscious mind and we're either able to draw inspiration and insight from or we're able to put in new ideas and the unconscious mind will receive that more receptively and kind of soften up and take that in and then implement those ideas as you move back into normal waking consciousness. So this is kind of that liminal as you're falling asleep but you haven't totally fallen asleep kind of state. That's kind of your theta zone. And then as you drop down into theta, you actually drop down into delta. Delta waves are deep, deep sleep. So this is where the body regenerates itself. This is where human growth hormone is secreted. This is where um, kind of uh, reality becomes a dream and it becomes very confusing to tell what's what and your kind of hyper creative, hyper unconscious mind starts to operate and communicate. So delta waves are very fun, uh, but very dreamy. So if you're listening to theta or delta waves, you know, don't be doing anything that requires your attention, like driving a car. Don't be doing anything like, you know, if, if you need to be attentive to kids, that kind of a thing, not the right moment for theta or delta. Um, but they're very useful at the end of the day. They're very useful for when you want to go into a deep, relaxed state of being. They're very relaxing. So that's a little bit about the frequencies. I wanted to share with you next a bit about how I'm using them and uh, how you might benefit from them just so you kind of have a sense of maybe how to use them yourself. So um, they've been blowing my mind recently. I've been absolutely amazed at how useful binaural beats are for shifting my state and for helping my brain to work optimally so that I'm more resilient. Um, I had an example where when I was creating the, the audio that I put up last weekend that, that you can see, that I'll probably link down below. Um, as I was creating that, I was listening to the frequency while I was kind of working on it. And I ended up working on it for like two and a half hours. So I listened to that frequency for a long, long time. I was doing that right before bed. And then I went to bed and I didn't sleep very well because it was an alpha wave frequency. So it was a little too alert of a, of a frequency that my brain was tuned to, to really fall asleep very well. But here's what was interesting. Excuse me. The next day when I woke up and then had to go to work, I was tired, but my brain was super on point. So I wasn't groggy. I wasn't lost. I wasn't hazy all day. I wasn't demotivated. I was focused. I was relaxed. I was on point. My brain was super resilient, even though I didn't have a whole lot of sleep. So I kind of discovered that alpha waves are an excellent, excellent way to, uh, to make your brain more resilient, to make yourself more focused, more present, more engaged, even if you're tired, even if you're stressed out. So with everything going on right now, I figured I'd start making alpha waves because they're so useful for de-stressing getting out of anxiety, and getting your brain just generally functioning better. So here's how I've been using them recently. Uh, what I typically do is I'll wake up in the morning and I will listen to gamma waves with alpha waves together or just gamma waves uh, to wake my brain up. So instead of coffee, uh, what I'll do is I'll put in earbuds. I will listen to about 20 to 30 minutes of gamma waves and that helps me get my brain jump started and kind of going and functioning well much more quickly. So I've been using it uh, low volume, pure frequencies, so I can just go about my morning routine. And if someone talks to me, or if there's something I wanna do, or even a video I wanna listen to, some news or whatever, I can do that and I still have the frequency going in my ears, but because it's just a pure frequency and it's low volume, it doesn't um, block out all the other sounds that you would hear the way, you know, frequencies with music would. So the pure frequencies are really useful in that you can just kind of pop in your earbuds, listen, and if you have the volume low enough, it's not going to interfere with hearing everything else that's going on, but you're still getting the benefit of your brain getting up to speed. So what I've been doing is gamma waves in the morning or gamma and alpha 
Then once I wake up, I get going about my day. If I need productivity, I'll do the same thing. I'll do gamma and alpha. So if I'm writing, if I'm uh, focused on proactively thinking, like I'm generating ideas for a course I'm making, for example, I will listen to those and they help me to be in a more productive mode. Uh, and then from there, you know, I, and then typically I'm going to hit a flow state where I'm just going and going and going and writing and writing and thinking and thinking clearly. And then uh, generally speaking, kind of midday, later midday, I'll leave them alone unless I really feel like I need a tune up. And then towards the end of the night, as I'm winding down, I'll start listening to either theta or delta waves and really kind of just starting to chill myself out and bring myself down nicely. Sometimes if I'm having uh, trouble sleeping, what I've been noticing is that doing a, a little bit of delta right as I'm going to bed for the first 20 minutes, half an hour that I'm laying down to go to sleep can be very helpful too. But here's the thing. I tried doing, some people like to do delta waves all night and just sleep with them on. And if that works for you, more power to you, bravo. I found for myself when I tried that, that I really couldn't sleep very well, that it was too much stimulus and my brain was still trying to make sense of being in that state. And I was in this weird kind of half awake, half dreaming, kind of very kind of dreamy, psychedelic, strange state, but I didn't sleep that well. So I found what works best for me is just to kind of front load my sleep with some delta waves. And then right as I'm really, really about to drift off, take off the headphones, put it down, crash and conk out. So that's what's been working for me. So gamma and alpha in the morning, gamma and alpha midday if I want to be productive and on point, and then uh, theta or delta later in the day to unwind and kind of relax. That's been super, super useful. Just to summarize, uh, they've been amazing. I have been blown away at how well they've been working and how much clearer and how much better my brain is functioning. Uh, one thing I haven't really shared with you guys much is that I've been going through a period recently where I've been dealing with a lot of chronic inflammation and kind of health issues. And with that, my brain has not been at its best. In other words, motivation has been a struggle. Um, focus has been a struggle. Uh, mental clarity has been a struggle. Brain fog, that kind of thing. And the binaurals have been helping immensely. So I, I want to continue to offer them up on the channel to you for free. There'll be new ones coming out, you know, every week or so, give or take. I'll also have them on a Bandcamp page where if you really like the audio, you want to support the work I'm doing, or you just want to own it for yourself, you can download it. Um, you can buy it for a very reasonable price. And they'll always be up on YouTube as long as this channel's up as well. So you have options to listen to them. And I would just encourage you, if you're new to the idea of binaurals, to put some headphones on, try them out, listen for 10 minutes, see how they make you feel. I'd say the sweet spot in general is going to be 20 minutes a day. Um, and just start there. Pick an alpha frequency, something that you know is going to work for you, isn't going to make you anxious, isn't going to make you too drowsy or sleepy. Uh, and put it on for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Try that for a few days in a row and see how much better your brain works for you. I think you'll be very impressed. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And for those of you that are kind of maybe more enthusiasts, you do binaurals on the regular, you use them in your life, please uh, let me know below. I'd love to hear how you use them. Uh, and, you know, please comment. Let me know if this resonates for you or if you learned something new as well. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and crack into the rest of my work for the day. I hope you enjoyed it and I have more coming for you. I'm going to try and do Tuesdays and Fridays every week with new videos. And then as the channel grows, as uh, I start transitioning into doing more full-time coaching work, um, then I'll have more time to make more videos for you and hopefully we'll get up to three or four videos a week. Anyways, big love to all. Hope you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, go listen to some binaural beats. They will help a ton. And uh, take care until I see you guys again.